All right, guys. Uh, let us consider this question that we have uh, on our logarithmic uh, differentiation, uh, which is uh, from our April 2023 exams. Uh, this is uh, uh, the application of the logarithmic differentiation as we are given to calculate dy dx given this y is equal to 3x minus 2 to the exponent of x. Uh, uh, to the exponent of cosine x. Remember that from our simplification of uh, uh, logarithmic diff, what you need is to introduce the logarithms both sides. So here we are going to introduce log, here we introduce the log. So it was supposed to be the log, which is the lean of y is equal to introduce a log, which is going to be the lean of uh, uh, 3x minus two to the exponent of x like this, everything raised it to the exponent of uh, cosine uh, 3x. This is what we are supposed to have in the first place. But the moment you apply or you introduce the logarithms, you are now back to the application or the laws of our logarithms, whereby we understand that m logarithm of n uh, is supposed to be taken as uh, the logarithm of n to the exponent of n. If it is m, lean of n, which is the same thing as our logarithm, it is going to be n to the exponent of m. So if I am given an exponent like this, I'm going to multiply that exponent to the lean. So that is what we have. We have got an exponent here. So we're going to multiply this to the lean of our expression. So that means from this law, we are going to have the lean of y is equal to uh, the cosine of uh, 3x multiplied to the lean of uh, 3x minus two to the exponent of uh, x in this case. All right, so that was the whole idea of our logarithms. So once you have got this part, you have separated, you have the lean on this side of y and uh, this part you have simplified, you are going to determine the derivative with respect to x. But knowing that yeah, there is a lean, you are supposed to determine there's a lean of y here. Remember what I said? whenever you are dealing with a function of y and you are supposed to determine the derivative with respect to x, because our question is to find the derivative with respect to x, you are going to determine the derivative of that function of y, then whatever that you get, you multiply by dy dx. So you determine the derivative of the function of y times dy dx, that is what we have on lean. So the derivative here of, of uh, y is going to be, uh, of lean y is going to be one over y in this case, multiplied to dy dx, just uh, the concept of our implicit function. All right, then on the other hand, we are supposed to differentiate, as we can see this, it's a function of x. And also here we've got a function of x. So there's no application of this first derivative and we multiply by dy dx because already, it's with respect to x. But these two functions, since they contain x and x, meaning to say it's a product because we are multiplying. So we've got u and v, and we understand from our product rule that we are going to apply our formula as u, first derivative of v plus v, the first derivative of u. So which means our u in this case, which is the cosine of three x. So we are going to have uh, the cosine of 3x in this case, multiply to the first derivative of v, which is, uh, this is our v, this whole part of lean. We are differentiating a lean, all right? Let's go back to our lean, guys. We said the derivative with respect to x of a lean, f of x in this case is going to give us what? The first derivative of that f of x over f of x in this case. That is the derivative that we obtain from what? A lean. But as we check on our first derivative here, meaning to say we are going to multiply with the derivative that we are going to get here, which is the derivative of our f of x. This is our f of x or in this lean. So its derivative, we are going to obtain three minus the derivative of two to the exponent of x. Remember that the derivative uh, with respect to x of a to the exponent of f of x gives us the first derivative of f of x times a to the exponent of f of x times the lean of a, which is the lean of what? The best. So this one is going to be the first, this or f of x. So the derivative of x there is a one. So it's, it's a one there, it's not gonna affect us, but we are going to have two to the exponent of x times the lean of the best, which is the lean of this number two. 
uh, that is the lane of two. So this is the first derivative of our f of x, which is this part inside the lane. But whatever that we get, we are supposed to divide it toward our f of x, which is the function as it is, which is 3x uh, minus 2 to the exponent of x like this. This is what we're supposed to obtain from our lean in this case, all right? Uh, that is how we apply its derivative. So here we just simplified u times the derivative of v. We move on to v in this case. So it's going to be plus v, our v in this case, that's the wall of this part, which is uh, the lean of uh, 3x minus 2 to the exponent of x times the first derivative of v, which is uh, our v, it's cos. So remember, if you differentiate a cos, it changes to a sign, but having the three affecting this part, so it's going to be a negative three uh, sine of three X, that it changes to a negative sign in this case. All right, so this is the whole part. So this is the whole simplification part that you're going to have. But on our simplification part now, what we need is to find dy dx. So you can simplify this other end, but as we can see, we are supposed to remove uh, this part here. We are supposed to remove the one over y that we have. But before that, just try to simplify on the right-hand side uh, part in this case. So let us just try to, all right, simplify the right-hand side and see what you're supposed to have at the end. So that is going to be one over y in this case times uh, dy dx is equal to, this is the cosine of 3x over one like this, all right? So like I said, here there's a one also, so one times this part is just going to be a single term. So you multiply cos times this whole part, so it's just like uh, the whole bracket multiplied by cos, so you can just write it as cosine of 3x into the bracket of three minus this one here, it's just the same, so you're gonna have two to the exponent of x, uh, lean of two in this case, all right? So this is our bracket. Everything over one is going to multiply this part of the denominator here. So it's one times uh, 3x, which is going to give us uh, 3x, one times this part of minus two, x going to be minus two to the exponent of x, or you can just even have it in bracket or just like that, all right? We do the same thing, we simplify here. Uh, we can take the negative part here, multiply it, we can start with a sign, all right? So it's negative times a positive, which is going to give us a negative three uh, sine of what? Sine of three X in this case, multiplied to the lean of three uh, X minus X uh, minus two to the exponent of X like this, all right? So this is the whole part that we are going to have at the end. But as we can uh, see here in our simplification or on our simplification, we want to remove this y. So we can have this whole part multiplied by y in order for us to remove this y here. So we are going to multiply uh, this part by y so that we remain with the uh, dy dx in this case. So the moment we multiply by y, we are going to have uh, dy dx, which is equal to this whole part now multiplied by this y that we have here. So meaning to say, here we are going to obtain y into the wall of the bracket. So this one guys is just a repetition, three x uh, into three minus two to the exponent of x uh, linear to everything over this. So this one is just a repetition. All right, minus three uh, sine of three x uh, into lin uh, 3x minus two to the exponent of x. So that's it, we have multiplied by y here. This is the y that we see. This was supposed to be our answer, but we can't leave this answer as it is because of uh, what we had before about this y. We were given this y and it is us who played around that y again. So we have to take back the y that we are given before, that y is equal to this expression. So we're going to substitute back this expression as it is on our final answer in place of y here. So we are going to substitute that value or that expression for y that you are given. So therefore, our derivative of y with respect to x is going to be, remember y there was given as a 3x minus two to the exponent of x to the exponent of uh, cosine of 3x. So that's what I'm trying to say. You substitute in place of y and this whole part is going to remain as it is, which is the cosine of 3x uh, 
into three minus uh, two to the exponent of x lean of two. So this one, these two are modeling. You can even start by this, you, you remain with the cos at the end, all right? Everything over three x minus two to the exponent of x minus this part as it is, that is the three sine three x into the lean of three uh, x minus two to the exponent of x. So this is the whole part that we are going to have at the end. As we can see that we are now having the derivative of y with respect to x, our, all everything that we have is in terms of x, not to say our answer is going to be in terms of y. No, we are supposed to have our answer in terms, in terms, in terms of x. That is why we are supposed to substitute the, the value of y that we are given before and have it now in terms of what? In terms of x. So these are the stages, introduce your logarithms, try to separate and uh, differentiate with respect to x, knowing that wherever there's a function for y, you differentiate that function with respect to y, but don't forget to multiply by d, y dx, uh, the same way or the same concept that we talked about on our implicit functions, we talked about this. So let us revise as much questions as we can before our exams approaches. 